What is up guys, Mike here, the Detroit Borg, with a really quick look at what's new with the second developer preview of Android N, and there are some significant changes which are worth pointing out. Now of course, one of the biggest visual changes here is the new folder icon, so you can see the folder design here is sort of a porthole view into the folder layer, if you want to look at it that way, but uh, basically when you open up the folders, they have the same animation, so that may change with time, but generally speaking, I actually really like this. You can see the first four items in your folder, and I think it's a pretty nice looking feature. We also get long Launcher shortcuts. Now this is a feature I can't fully demonstrate yet because apps haven't been able to use it yet, but basically this allows apps to define specific action shortcuts which you can place on the home screen. Now we have seen something similar to this with the settings shortcut widget. So this allows us to specify specific shortcuts for our settings panel. So if you want to quickly jump to your Bluetooth settings, uh, your display settings, or whatever, you can actually add that right to the home screen. Now the idea here is that you can do this with other apps. So for example, if you want to send a text message to a specific person all the time, you can actually just add that to the home screen. Another new feature is available under quick settings. So if we go to edit here, you can see we now have the option to add a calculator. So this allows us to quickly open up a calculator right from quick settings, and that's kind of nice to have. We also get Unicode 9 support for new emojis. So we get a new set of emojis, which includes human-like figures, in addition to the gumdrop emojis we've had for a long time. This also brings support for skin tone variations in addition to Unicode 9 glyphs like bacon, selfie, and facepalm. Another feature that's really nice to finally have have on stock Android is a clear all button in multitasking. Now in order to get to it, you do have to scroll all the way to the back of your recent apps and then you get that clear all button toward the top. And once you clear out all of those recent apps, you get a no recent items icon. They've also redesigned the emergency info screen. So you now have two tabs, one for info and one for contacts. So you can specify your medical information, your address information, age, and that sort of thing. And then you can go to your emergency contacts list and add those from your existing contacts. The set of process has also been streamlined. So we we now have a specific screen for anything else, which includes setting up our email accounts, selecting additional apps. So if you want to unselect some of the apps that come pre-installed, you can do that. You can also set up your Google Now voice recognition. So this is where you stop and do that. And you can also control the lock screen notification. So if you want more privacy, you can set that up right here. And for devices that support it, this version of Android does come with the Vulkan 3D rendering API. This is intended to significantly improve gaming performance over OpenGL. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this quick look look at the second developer preview of Android N. If you guys liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for future updates. And until then, I'll see you again in the next video.